Welcome, Terminators. Uh, this is the first war we have uh, after batch uh, 5.3, and we are up against El Tergio Viejo. Uh, I tried to translate it, and it, it seems to say that it's like Old Wednesday or something. Probably has some meaning in, in, in Spain that I don't know. Uh, really strong uh, Spain alliance. Uh, currently, they are standing at uh, 70th place in, in top 100, and we are around 50th place. So, actually, two quite equal alliances going after each other. Um, previously, in these cases, you would look at stalemate uh, with a very high probability. Um, uh, to be just right off the bat, they have by far higher developed bases than we have. We they have several bases above 220. Uh, our our highest is is my base, and and this is 205, and by far less developments. So this base, as you can see, town center as well as Forbidden City, very nicely spread apart. And it would be one hell of a tough battle, actually, to go up against with a regular troop composition. So, and that is the reason why I've actually been attacking last maybe four of, uh, wars already, only with heavy tank composition. Because uh, heavy tanks are just uh, more flexible. Uh, you don't need to go after the quick victory taking down town center for Beaten City, you can often actually just go for the 50%. Uh, in this case, I'm actually, um, I'm happy if I get 50%, but I'm planning also to get town center and for Beaten City down within the one minute mark. And my approach to this base will be actually from the top uh, on the embassy side of the map, because uh, this way, I have a uh, nice spread to take down a lot of uh, buildings in order to assure the 50%. Um, and as well as also the factories are not located on the top side. Um, and I can actually use my... Uh, wait, thus I can use my my betrayals uh, from the tanks, heavy tanks that will spawn in the center of the map from the, uh, their bunkers. Um, so my plan is, will be to put my main army from the top side, and I'm hoping that they will be able to clear the town center within the min uh, minute and 15 seconds, and then the rest of the heavy tanks will just clear the forbidden city. Um, and even if, if I'm not clearing the forbidden city, I'm still hoping for the 50% uh, quick victory. As you can see, the beginning of the battle was was going actually according to the plan very nicely, but then I ran into a little bit of um, problem for some good reason, hard to explain, probably the two layers of walls made all of my, or like most of my main army went uh, through the middle of the, of the of the map, and this is the place I I wasn't hoping that they're actually going, uh, thus making only two officers hitting the town center. Um, and I just to make sure I wanted this uh, tank destroyer also to give a couple of hits against uh, against the town center to to make sure I will clear it before it starts spawning. And as you saw, now two minutes and fifteen seconds. I've cleared 62% uh, of the of the base as well as town center and Pobitten city. Uh, was still quite close actually, uh, taking down the town center as as my troops spread a little bit uh, differently than I expected. Uh, but nevertheless, 50% uh, was was uh, as well as the town center was taken down, and as you can see. I've lost almost no army, only one tank destroyer and a couple of bazookas. So clearing the rest of the base was actually no question. Uh, so all in all, and, and if you think about it, going with a regular army composition, it would have been a long journey. And because if you, if you rally your troops to take down the town center, 
they will get scattered around in the middle where there's Versailles as well as all the traps located. So uh, I'm very sure that, that with the regular army composition, I wouldn't have been able to clear this base, you know, and get, uh, get the quick victory star. Thanks.